Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Yes, and welcome uh, back to both of us. <laughs> yeah. We have been on vacation what? for a week. I feel like I haven't been here in um, forever. And it probably and seems, it might seem to you guys like we didn't go anywhere because we did still have videos go up as usual. As planned. They didn't premiere, but we had two parts of a haul and then we also had, well, we did the thrift with us at the bins, yes. which was fun. That was and also, really good time. we had some good fun. That was a good bin strip. If you missed any of those hauls, you might want to go back, especially the Saturday one. There was a very, 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 very good find at the end of that yes, one. It was. But we're back now, which might we'll explain back. if we have any bug bites or if we have any like strange like sunburn anywhere the in our face. We went up north. We were in Bemidji, Minnesota for a week. The mosquitoes were out in full force. I am they were. a piece of white people's Swiss cheese <laughs> because of all these bug bites. And we are back now with another haul. Yes. So you might be like, wow, we just had two hauls. You're doing another. But unfortunately, that's all that we kind of have time for this week is to do <laughs> hauls once again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But we even had a second channel video go up. Well, I. I mean, you were in it. I was in but it. But I mm -hmm. had a second channel video go up last that week, too. Fun. So we were just as scheduled, even though we were on a vacay. I do have a haul for you guys today, and I say I, because Ryan got back and he had to kick off a little teaching situation. So I'm teaching a printmaking class at our local art center for the next four days, and conveniently two of those days are Monday and Wednesday, which is when I would go to the bins. So this one's gonna be a little different because I don't know what Jack found. So we worked out in the morning, on Monday, we went to the gym, as we always do. I went home to shower and get ready for the children. And then Jack went to the bins. So I have not seen any of this stuff. No, I was very strict. I was like, don't look. You need to react in person. He, I went downstairs and he's like, go. <laughs> I was like, get out. I was starting it and I was like, go. He yelled at me. So Ugh. that's what today's video is. And I'm thinking that Wednesday's video is going to be exactly the same thing as this. Because my class is also on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> because Ryan won't be able to join me. So we don't have time to like write out a bolo or something and film it together. We kind of have to do this situation. When I went to the bins yesterday, I did do just a wee bit of thrift with me footage. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that in in a second. Um, and then we will jump into the hall and like we just said, Ryan will be reacting yes. literally like live with you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Because I strictly did not let him see a single thing. But I, I will no say. no idea what any of this is. The bins were quite good. Hmm. Anyways, let's kick into the thrift with me footage. All right, guys. Just got done at the gym with Ryan and we're in separate cars because like I'm sure we just said in the intro, Ryan has a local art class to teach at our art center in our city. And so I'm going to the bins alone today and I'm going to get stuff and I'm going to do a solo haul, but it's not really solo because he's going to be with me. He's just going to be like Vanna White and he's also going to kind of react with you guys. So wish me luck. I'm also so out of breath and probably so sweaty because we've been on vacation for a week. And so the gym was a wee bit harder than usual. <laughs> Let's hope the bins aren't harder on me than usual, but honestly, I'm, I'm not too hopeful on that one. We have arrived. Looks like while we were on vacation, the bins had a price increase. It is now $1.99 instead of $1.69 for 25 pounds plus. My first find of this whole bins trip was a mage piece. I've never even found mage before. I would have been so excited about this Torrid dress. I love punk Torrid, but it had multiple flaws, as you can see. This is something I would have grabbed for the real real, but with the price increase, now I just kind of don't want to take the risk. It's an Obermeyer pair of snow pants. You know my spooky heart is happy to find this Fair Isle pumpkin shirt and this vintage tacky black cat sweatshirt. I think I'm gonna crop this. Wow, the bins even gave me lunch. These were right on top of my bin during the shoe rotation, and I was so excited. I wish they were my size, though. More spooky stuff in the decor and miscellaneous section, but not really my style. I did find this Ray Dunn piece, though, probably from a 4th of July collection. And then I did actually grab these two Halloween things. I'll probably just send them as a gift with purchase if someone buys something spooky. This tank top was giving me all kinds of Depop vibes. I thought this was kind of cool. It was a Hershey's Chocolate World sweatshirt. I did skip it, but I just thought it was cool. Grabbing these for Debbie because she sells Topshop, they seem like Halloween jeans with the orange and black stripe. 
Skipping these, even though they're anthro, they're just not the best style. Plus, the cuff on one of the sides has been broken. Multiple bins like this one were just all pants and jeans, which is great for fall. These Athleta sweatpants were one of the things that I found in the jean bin. If this coat were in better shape, it would have been a great find. It is a coach wool coat, but there were many flaws to the outside and the inside, so I did pass on it, especially with the new price. I knew what this was before even seeing the tag. I've had this before, and it's an anthropology sweater. My one luxury find of the day, and I'm not going to show you guys what it is, but if you recognize the tag, you know you'll have to wait till the end of the haul. Okay, and welcome back. So now we will kick into <sighs> the actual haul. It unfortunately was only like three minutes of footage, but I'm sure you guys saw a couple things that, sneak. that will be here. Peekers. But for the most part, there's a lot here that you guys have not seen. So let's just jump into it. And Ryan's kind of going to be my Vanna White. I might hand him the item and then I'll talk about it so he can also like inspect it. I don't know how many of my rings on. Vanna White I always had a crap ton of jewelry on. First up, I have this big old tote that has a couple things in it. So I will show the things mm -hmm. that are in it and then i will i'm trying if it was leather i would have said and then i'll well. show the the tote itself so first up is my only thing and i think we can all tell what this is it's ray done it's a mug but it's brand new <laughs> and of it's course cute. like i wasn't gonna skip this i think these are probably on clearance at home goods and stuff right now I because it. it's from the fourth of july but like i wasn't gonna skip this i'll just sell it for like people are patriotic all year round 15 dollars or something on mercari whatever and those mercari people these, so there was one shoe switch that I got to look at and I only found one pair of shoes in it and these were right on top of my bin and two people came, one person came to one side of me, one person came to the other and one literally asked, are you gonna get those? And I was like, yes, yes I am. So I found these and I was so hoping they'd be okay. my size. Oh, but hey! They're like the exact same Hoka's that Ryan okay, has. Okay, wait, are these my size though? No. They're, I think, I don't know. I am gonna, I'm gonna do something awful and I'm gonna get a pair of Hoka's for school. Oh, they are men's. Mm -hmm. These are an eight and a half men's. I mean, probably a woman could wear them too. They're a, they're a 40 and two thirds. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Interesting. Um, so there are women's 10, there are men's, women's 10 and a half, men's eight and a half. Um, I'm gonna get a pair for school. Because all my teacher friends are like, they're amazing. I love you them. You have Hoka. I have them, but those are my gym shoes. And I want a pair of black ones. But they're so comfortable. These are in like super, 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 super good condition. They're wow. still super foamy. Like the foam is in great <laughs> I condition. I like the colors on these too. These are cute. I really like the color too. That's why I was so hoping these would be my size. Because some of the they Hoka's are not the prettiest. But these ones are really, really pretty. Women's 10 and a half. Oh, men's yeah, <laughs> men's 8 and a half. They're really cute though. And they're, oh, and the, the Bondi. Jack's cousin works at a running store, and that's like a common style style of them. Mm -hmm. So the big tote now, the elephant in the room, is this big faux leather tote. And I kind of assumed what this was when I saw it for some reason, and I was actually right. So this is an anthropology bag. Oh. And it's Ooh. Urban Originals for Anthropology. They've made this exact same bag for Urban Outfitters and for Anthro, which makes sense because same company. It's cute. But I think this is super adorable. I've heard rumblings and tumblings that like the big totes are going to come back in because the pendulum swing. Yep. We had the mini micro bags and I've heard like huge, huge bags might be Ugh. coming back for fall. We I have love not. Big bags. I can't wait. We have not done the research yet. So that's just me TV. like thinking. But there's like one or two tiny spots on the inside. And then there's like a pen mark right here. Other than that, this thing is in really, really I good shape. I love that it has the like, the Telfar straps where it's like the two long ones and then like the two short ones. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. Oh, and it has a little like water bottle pocket in there. Yeah. Oh, how fun. I know. Look it has that. a ton of pockets. Yeah, this is a very like teacher bag. Yeah. Not to just talk about educators, <laughs> but like you got pockets for keys, pockets for things. So then I have a surprise. I got a couple items for Ryan. You bought me an Urban Outfitters bag. And yeah, fittingly, they're in an Urban bag. Okay, so, so what do we get? I wanted to get like more for Ryan, but I was only able to find three things. Of course, there's probably a lot that I got. I took all this stuff right 
So. Well, there's a lot that I got for myself <laughs> that Ryan would have also got for himself, but that's why it's hard to shop for others at the bins. So first up okay. is a Free People bra. Oh! But it's not the like boring bando. No, ones. was that in the haul? I found like four or five of like this exact same style the mesh. of Free People bra. Yeah, yeah. they're burgundy. And it still has the tag Ooh. and everything. So I yeah, thought- Yeah, that's really cute, thank you. Yeah, I, I like also got, I know that you've not always been like selling these yourself now, but I think these would be really good for fall. So these are BDG jeans. Oh, I love these. And they're really nice. The acid gray wash. Yeah. With some distressing. Oh, and these are for super fall, nice. I just think they'll do good. They're slim straight. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you think you can sell those. A 26. Yeah, I think I could. Those are super cute. But the, cute. And the busted knee isn't like super busted. Like it's not. And then this, I think you'll be excited about if you want to show it. Oh my God, are these we American Apparel? show it to the people. I think I know what these are. I think I know that these are American Apparel black disco That's pants. That's hilarious. <laughs> Just go short. But they're Absolutely. new with tag. You're kidding me. With the original I American remember... apparel tag. Sweatshop free, it says. It <laughs> is. I remember I was in London. <laughs> I was so convinced that I was gonna get a pair of the um, men's dark teal disco pant because um, the lead singer Glass Animals wore a pair and I was like, those are mine. And my parents looked at them and in 15 seconds Did said, you, you are literally gonna stay in this country if you buy those pants. So that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, these are amazing. You're welcome. Ooh. Oh my God. USD, $59. For that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love those. Next up, you're welcome. Thank you. Next up is a new Bolo brand. So if Editing Jack remembers, please put the notebook in. It is called Marigo or Marigo. Marigot, hmm. and it is a pajama brand that is very, very, very expensive. Wow, and this is really cute. It, it is, is really cute. pink seahorses all over it. And luckily, I found the whole set. So these are both oh, extra small, cute. but I saw people with full sets of these Marigot. pajamas on Posh. They were 160. Dang. I need to do more research, but obviously I've they have I've heard value. of that brand before, and I don't know where. I don't, but I, I definitely, don't oh, I know what this is. It's, it's an Adela bralette. Ryan's gonna know this one. Oh, look at her. I found this. I just sent a friend of mine one of these. This free people <laughs> bra, which is the Adela. The Adela comes in a mini dress and a crop top and a bralette and a bunch of different stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know what size this is, but it says cup size A is like all it says for some reason. Small, medium. But this is what it looks like. Just imagine it flipped. Literally so cute. These also do so good. People love yeah. the Adela Bralettes. Oh, this is, nice. is really, really adorable. So this is a super cute tie-dye, like athletic ribbed tank oh, with cute. the scalloped, it's a little scalloped? Le It's a lettuce hem. Lettuce hem. Mm -hmm. And it is Spiritual Gangster. Oh. And it's medium large. I actually have medium Spiritual large. Gangster tie-dye shorts that are ribbed so these probably almost go with them cute this is a brand i normally would not sell myself but i'm going to because it's really really cute oh. so it's this floral if you can see that like rose like, kind of reflective oh, wait. let me white yeah there we go much better layered cami tank top I and it's armani collezioni size 10. Oh i know so this would have retailed for a ton and normally i just send it to the real real but i know they'd price this at like 40 at the most oh it's just like lined in the front yeah i thought there was like a slip so on. i'm totally gonna sell that myself i think oh, it's yeah. really trendy put it on beep up then oh lord here we go <laughs> this is cute that is super cute. Ooh. Is it a kid sweater? I think it's a woman's small. It's just like more tight fitting. And it's not really a sweater. It just looks like a sweater. It's a Oh, it's just like a little sweatshirt. It's like a Fair Isle kind of That's super sweatshirt. cute. Does it have like a brand on it? Good for the season. I think it's just like Walmart. Oh. <laughs> like old, old Walmart. Oh lord. These next two things are very Depop, I feel like. So this is Cowgirls <gasps> tank top. I sold something just like this on Depop. <laughs> it was a Cirque du Soleil tank in this like funky kind of like magnolia pearl Skinny looking mini. Cirque du Soleil print. And it literally sold in like two minutes for like $40. Dang. It's insane. Well, good thing because I have two things that look very similar. <sighs> this one is by Cactus. And it's oh a Lord. large. Oh Lord. The music studio. But once again, it has that like, it's studded 
This is not my style, okay, I will say. Like, this is like actually kind of cute though. <laughs> these are very, like, I like this one. These are very Depop. I picture this them- This fun. I picture them in like a down south like gift shop or oh, something. Oh, absolutely. Or boutique. Absolutely. It's a, like that tchotchke store at the Atlanta airport. So of course I was focusing mentally on like fall and I actually did find a handful of good fall stuff and not even just like good styles for fall, but like even brands that I like. Mm -hmm. So this is a flannel tunic and not only is it a really cute flannel tunic? It's actually free people. Ooh. I know. That's a good one. And it's a large. Mm -hmm. So I think this will sell wicked fast. Wicked smart. Wicked fast. Wicked fast. Like, I love that with the little. Picture this at a pumpkin patch. Oh, like, beautiful. Oh, cute. That's yeah, like, I like that one. exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for right now. This is one of those situations where I recognized it before seeing the tag because I've had this before. <laughs> this is an anthropology uh, Rosie Nira oh. size small. It's kind of cute. It's this is very deep pop. If it doesn't, this is very if it doesn't sell for me, I will just bring it to a consignment store. That's a really old Anthro brand. I like the colors in it though. Yeah, I know. I do like, like the, the colors. Blue is really pretty. This I wish was a different size. It's J. Crew, 100% cashmere, and it's extra extra small, which Ooh. is unfortunate. Even though it definitely looks like it could fit an extra small at oh, least yeah. too, but it's 100% cashmere and it's like leopard print. And actually, it's from 2020. Dang. I couldn't tell with that tag. Who was but... buying cashmere sweaters in 2020? Where were you going? <laughs> I don't know. Where were you wearing that cashmere sweater to? <laughs> this I like too. <laughs> I like the bones on the sleeve. It's, That's funny. It's Zoe and Liv. Target. Extra, extra large. So I think it's almost like a baby tee situation. Spooky like, girls. It's more Ooh. like form fitting. It's cute. But I mean, I'm picking that stuff up now. A, cause Depop, weird, funky stuff like that'll sell. Also like Halloween people are always looking for Halloween stuff, especially as we approach mm -hmm. the season. <laughs> this is soft surroundings size medium. Which there's the size. And this kind of reminds me of a free people, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's just like a tunic it's that's really like boho-y and print and stuff. I like all the colors in it too. And how yeah. it has that like medallion thing in the Soft middle. Soxronics has not been selling well for me lately. I'm sending all mine to throw So I'm thinking I might just start to market lower. Cause I used mm -hmm. to list like good ones at like 40, 45, but I'll probably just like start everything at 30. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm just kind of like, whatever. Especially like it weighs nothing and you find the bins. Here's another free peopler. And I think this is pretty cute. Oh, I've sold this top before. It's called the like Jenny tank or something. I don't remember. I don't know. It's but nice it's like ribbed and pretty cute. I like the rivets mm -hmm. and it's a size medium. So anything that's not extra small from free people. Fantastic. This I only picked up because of like the what print on it. It's surprisingly Prana size oh. small. But I thought this was a pretty cool watercolor oh. print. It's also like new condition. This is really nice. Yeah, oh. I know. The condition's really good and everything. What does that remind me of? Art. Oh, I know Art. what it is. When people do those like tables of like a tree slice and then they fill them full of like acrylic. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or they do those like where they'll stack all those like me, skateboards. It reminded and then me of like, like that wood art. What's as that well. called? Where, what's that thing? You a should, lathe. You when know, you lathe it. Okay, so I promise this is the last one. Okay, but like, what a vibe. I think this is really cute. How cute is she? <laughs> so it's like a tacky black cat jack-o'-lantern sweatshirt that I cropped yesterday. Oh yeah. You probably saw this in the thrift with me footage and it was a full length sweatshirt, but I cropped it. And it is a size small. And once again, it's just like probably from Target or Walmart, but it's old. So you couldn't just go out and grab this now. It's but super cute I though. think it'll do good. And I think it's cute that it's cropped. This I was excited about. And then I was disappointed when I was taking pictures because there's a small hole in it. So this is Savage Fenty and it's a 3X. So it's a great size. It's this like cropped waffle oh. long sleeve shirt. But unfortunately on the back, there's actually maybe oh. like a pinhole and a slightly bigger hole. I don't know. I might still list it for like 25. Especially because or it's, a, it's a 3X. I know. Like somebody could just buy it and wear it as like, you know, just like a shirt. Well, yeah, it's like shirt. thermal, so it could be almost like pajamas mm -hmm. if you want it or something. Then we have a very, very cute dress. Oh, this this is, is a striped lemon printed kind of sleeveless shirt dress. It almost gives me Kate Spade vibes, honestly. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a J. Crew size two. I was like, is that a small or a two? It is it's a size cute, two, but I don't know. J. Crew lately has been like picking up a little, which is kind of strange. I feel like we said that last well year. Is, I feel like J. Crew always picks up in the Maidwell fall. Madewell is like completely dying out, yeah. and J. Crew is like, hi. 
Then we have Lauren Moshi's uh, uncle, son, husband, I alter have, ego. I think it's her husband. <laughs> I don't know who. I think it's her husband. Michael Lauren, size medium. And it is just a plain white sweatshirt, sweater. I don't know. In the bins, I wasn't going to skip this, though. Mm -hmm. Again, I'll probably just mark it, like, a bit cheaper yeah, but it's very soft then we have an anthro piece this is a cute textured hoodie oh full zip is this like an athletic thing? and this is it's by pure and good which weirdly oh. does sometimes make like leggings and stuff so I think they're it's their, like but athleisure line I was gonna not say, athletic that's like a different one but like the stuff to just bum around yeah not everything they make is athletic but they do make some athletic mm -hmm. this is extra small it's in really good shape it's really Cute. It almost is like like new. I was not gonna. Skip, I like that. Skip that at the bins. This is a really good find. I think this is my first time finding this brand. So it's Mage. Ooh. I know. Size one. This is. This so was cute. the first thing I found. I was like, you know, it's gonna Whoa. be a good day when the first thing you plot of that bin is yeah. a good dress. Except then oh. that bin had like nothing else. <laughs> Even though this was buried in it, so it wasn't like a throwback. But I was kind of like weird how this is the only hmm. bougie thing. This is really cute. So it's a black short sleeve dress with this really fun metallic like tinsel look to the it's bottom. like a little blue silver i know that's so cute a lot of people really really like to sell mage oh, mentally, i found it a couple of times mentally i kind of group mage with like alc mm -hmm. and stuff where yeah. it's like not really mid-tier but like upper mid tier we're kind of getting up there mm -hmm. i don't know how their sizing works like does one mean it's probably a small i think so i don't know i've sold one mage dress that i got in texas when we were with melinda and it was that like one mm. I was like, Ugh. This I got solely based on style. So it's called Indigo Thread Co. <laughs> I have no clue where that's from or who that is. But I think this is actually really, really cute. It's like a boho-y oh, fringe kind of kimono jacket. It's got eyelids. It actually feels really nice too. Yeah. Does it button? I'm sure. No, it ties. No. And I think it's oh. actually one size fits all. Super cute. Yeah. It I is. That. I don't know. <laughs> We'll see how that does. That might have been a dumb buy. Beep up. This is a jumpsuit. Oops, it is upside. We love it. It is upside down. Love. We love a linen blend moment. <laughs> this is a young, fabulous, and broke jumpsuit. YFB. Oh, Extra that's the new small. You. Oh my gosh. Obviously, I can't handle you in the jumpsuits thing. today. <laughs> it's just like a chambray. It's really, it's showing up extremely dark on the camera. It's definitely like navy blue, but like it has, regular navy blue. It has like front pockets and back pockets. I like that it has these little doodads on like the yeah. end of the the end of the leg. I was looking up young, fabulous, and broke jumpsuits, and people list them for like one fifty, which I think is like a little cuckoo think... crazy. Yeah, but cuckoo for cocoa puffs. But I don't know. I wasn't gonna skip it. No. This is another free people. So I had luck with the free people. This is a size extra small. This is really adorable. Oh, I love it's this. It's a bodysuit. And I love, yeah, if you want to show the sleeves, I the love these bell Look sleeves to it. With this, like, yeah. lace detail. Super cute. And then it's a full open kind of back. I really like love that. Because I'm I'm honestly not much of a free people bodysuit person. They just, like, don't do good for me. They do so good for me. They say anyway. Poor Lori by Rail Florine. Cute. <laughs> and it's extra large. And that's actually, like, a really old label. I think this is, like, a 90s or even maybe 80s. I wasn't gonna pick this up and then I looked up comps on like vintage 90s polo sweatshirts and they're really good. Hmm. So it's a spell out kind of collegiate style oh, white sweatshirt. Because of its 30 year old plus age, it does have a couple marks throughout that are pretty small. And then the neckline kind of has some discoloration if you really look close. Maybe you squint at it. But the comps on like vintage polo spell out sweatshirts are like over a hundred. So oh my god. We'll give her a shot, yeah. I suppose. Then we have another lemon print. Oh my god, is this Banana Republic? And oh my gosh, is that Banana Republic? No, because I found a skirt with this exact same print like forever ago. Close, but no. Oh. Um, it's a linen Taylor. linen blend skirt, and once again it's J. Crew. Oh. <laughs> Size zero. Some lady really liked the lemons and the J. Crews. And, she and said, then she suddenly did not like either got over of them. Lemons. This is American Eagle, which I do not pick up very often. As you guys saw in the clips, there was like so many jeans bins. Like bins oh. just full of pulled jeans, like pulled from the store. <gasps> Those are the worst. 
I didn't mind. Good thing Ryan didn't go. I know. I, I hate those bins. I've never found a single thing in any of them. <laughs> so that's what this was in. Curvy, super high-rise jegging, and it's the new American Eagle label. It's from the end of 2019. I thought this print would be good for fall. <laughs> My glass. A gray and black houndstooth. And if not, every single Plato's Plaza probably on the face of the earth would take these. Yeah. They're size eight. Which I guess I should just do this next time too. Okay, these, these are, are Yeah, I really like these ones. These are the same thing. American Eagle, again, it's like the super high rise jigging, size eight. But these are very fall. These ones I like way more. Yeah, I like the colors. The plaid, too. like black and tan and brown. I think these are cute. And I could sell them as a bundle. Oh, you if could. anyone wanted them as a bundle, I could do probably much cheaper than I have them listed as separately. Mm -hmm. This has no label. I don't know what it is. I know it's faux leather, but there's no label. It has like this side thing, which is not what the Shein one looks like. So I know it's not Shein. And I can see like, like it almost looks like urban, but I don't think it's urban. <laughs> but it has the thing where it's like two lines of something have been cut out and it's plus size. Yeah. And it's Gothic. So I like it. I and I cute. thought that I would try it. Stuff on Depop that has no label still definitely sells. Ryan just sold some like labelless skirt for like $35. Which one? That like corduroy. Oh, that little brown one. Yeah, I found like a brown pleated, no branded skirt and I sold it for 35 bucks. Yeah, so that's kind of what I had in mind when I picked this up. And I mm -hmm. like to put kind of punk stuff on my Depop. I've noticed that that stuff does, plus size. does quite good. The plus size stuff on Depop does super good. Then these are new with tag or else I normally would not pick up this brand. It's Kendall and Kylie. But I think that these are kind of witchy, honestly. They're fine. They're sheer pleated metallic silver long pants. Yeah. Again. I will just consign them if they don't sell for me. Then we have Aretha Athleta. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a long room layer. No, because you cannot have a haul without Aretha Athleta. You can't, honestly. A little jacket, yeah, cute. Just a full zip jacket with a hood. It's in really good shape. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm putting you to sleep. No, no, I don't know why. I'm yawning a lot today. I'm sorry, everybody. This is a Ooh. dark academia skirt. Ooh. It's actually made by The Limited, but it's really old The Limited where it's made in Italy and it's 100% wool. Wow. But this will do really well. Everywhere. For fall mm -hmm. and it's so dark academia, especially because it's pleated and stuff. It size 10 and it did measure to a 30 inch waist. So I guess the size 10 is probably still pretty accurate. This is Wild Fox and it's size XXL, which I didn't even know Wild Fox made, but these are some like ombre tie dye joggers. Oh, how cute are those? Yeah. I love the colors in those too. But again, I was excited to find some like plus size this time. I know. I never find plus size. I feel They're like, like the good plus size. I feel I like know. I always find like old Chadwicks. Yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so this is another plus size piece and this is a 3X. Torrid. Oh, and I've actually moment. sold these before. Mm, these are too. like the ribbed moto, the moto leggings, ones. and they actually sold really well last time I had them. So I was not mad to I find I think those. they are popular with the plus size punk crowd. The plus size punk. Plus, that, how good. <gasps> what a band. What a roller derby the, team. <laughs> the plus size punks. Oh my gosh. That would I be love amazing. That. These are We the Free, and these are size 29. Oh, I they were these are cute. These are really, really cute. Yeah, I would They're like, I need to, to like dry these. them because they're like wrinkly but they're yeah. distressed straight leg jeans this side what? i think it is has a few like marks oh like, you could just oh, like um kind of there stain remover them like grandma's yeah stain remover and if them, not i mean they have the whole distressed look i don't think they it's are like really that cute. big of a deal if there were a few marks on no. them okay so we got three items left so i guess we'll just <gasps> wrap it up and then i'm gonna have to do another full load when we go back to the bins on wednesday so this is athleta size extra small and these are really really cute this is the oh, kind of I athleta that, that i really like to sell the more kind of like just hanging out like athleisure stuff the vibe versus, in athleta versus the like workout stuff this mm -hmm. stuff usually especially pants do well for me the sweatpants and the like wider pants <laughs> the pants last two items we so found a lot, a, not a lot but like i found a couple of pieces from this brand and then jack oh, yeah, found a couple of pieces yeah i saw that little this is by minimal minimal which i think is only men's i do believe yeah i do believe this is a size 28 pair of jeans and they're kind of a coated black skinny jean they're like motorcycle jeans. yeah with moto zips at the bottom and minimal this, like, has always done really this, like, well for me 
it's not like it goes for tons and tons. No. But it does do pretty good because it's quite expensive new. Mm -hmm. They have a few light marks. I feel like coated jeans kind of get those white scuffs pretty easy. But they're pretty hard to notice, honestly. Yeah, you can't, you can't tell. And I like, I like the coated feel of them. I think they're mm -hmm. really nice. I also, I have a few things in the wash. I think I have a Lulu bra. And I have just a couple other things. You're not missing anything like crazy. No. This is like the best thing I found. This. What is it? <laughs> I just throw it away. Is it a Chanel? So this is, I did kind of like, no, it's not a Chanel. Oh. I did kind of a teaser in the clips. I covered up the brand tag, which is what I'm doing now again. <laughs> but this is a super nice like wool little like granny core. Also like Y2K fairy, just throw on all the keywords mini micro cardigan. Is it Hermes? And it is actually Chloe. Oh. I know. So that Ooh. was really exciting. This was one of the last things I found and it was just, oh, no, it's, it's, not, it's, shrunk no, it's not shrunk. Is this Phoebe Philo, Chloe? That's Celine. Anyway. But honestly, like, Cute. I feel like in the past I would have been kind of disappointed because it's quite a dated style but now this is kind of like a look that some of the depop kids and some of the like trendy oh, blogger think, people go for i think it's adorable there's buttons that go all the way down the front and then you can tie it in the front there's like this lace that goes stitched all the way through oh, this yarn is so nice it's a medium yeah it's all wool 100 percent wool so super nice and oh my gosh like chloe in the bins love and a sweater like i, I mean that's the stuff i'm looking for right that now. is a really cute sweater, and though. it can fit one of my inventory bags versus hanging it on the wall perfection so that is all that i have for you guys today perfect timing Ugh. we were kind of hoping this video would be about 30 minutes and it looks yeah. like we're just over 30 minutes so i I'm guess i will be couple. back to the bins on wednesday for like the exact same situation hopefully i can find some stuff for ryan again i found some stuff for debbie this time but i obviously don't really show those in the video no she sells it diminishing that's it <laughs> Yeah, her stuff just, as soon as she listens, Within. it's gone. Her turnaround it evaporates. What's that called? Her turnaround time her is like great. less than 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> we will see you guys on Wednesday for the literal exact same situation. Mm -hmm. I hopefully find some nice things. I will say there is one thing I found in this haul that the authenticity is still up for debate. It feels really good, but I'm know. I'm just not certain. I don't really want to show it unless I'm I torn. know. But I mm -hmm. did get it. But Ryan has seen this item just because I wasn't sure if it's even going to be in a video. I don't know. I'm torn. So I'm going to do more research mm -hmm. on that before Wednesday. But I will show it to you guys if I decide that it's real or find out that mm -hmm. it's real before Wednesday. But hopefully I'll just have some other really amazing, intense, luxury, fantastic he items actually to me a that I find. Yeah, mm -hmm. for Wednesday. We will see you guys on Thursday, but I will on do this channel. exact same thing on Wednesday mm -hmm. to show you on Thursday. We will also have a second channel video going up either on Wednesday or Friday. I haven't decided yet. And then, of course, we'll just have a normal What's on Saturday on Saturday. How nice that going to be? Oh, so and it's going to be a good What's on Saturday. I hopefully, actually made sales this week. Hopefully. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys on someday this week. There's a lot of things going up this week. So we'll see you then. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.